Hi YouTube, this is Turtle Gator 602 here, back with a uh, deck uh, review. Actually, this is my new deck that I made for the new format coming out in September. So you'll see um, mostly new cards, but then you'll also see old cards that uh, have newer versions. So uh, yeah, this is my Hydragon Mill Tank deck, actually. Uh, it features this Hydragon EX that I got in uh, one of my previous videos, actually. And since I have two of them, I thought I could make a deck. So he has one. He has an ability, and he has an attack. So if it'll focus, go on focus. Ah, it won't work. But uh. What it actually says is, uh, Dragon Road, if there's any stadium card in play, the retreat cost of each of your Dragon Pokemon in play is two colorless less. So really that's pretty good if you get your, uh, state if you get a stadium card in play. Uh, it's not bad I guess, but he has a three retreat cost, so then it would be down to one, so you still have to discard energy. And then I have, like, my Drunigan, who has a free retreat cost. And I also have my Dragonite, who would have a t mighty two retreat cost on the one and a one on the other. So, other than that. And then his second move for one Psychic, one Dark, and one Colorless is Shred for 80 damage. And this attack's damage isn't affected by any special con or any effects on that active Pokemon. So, if a lot of you know, there's a Pokemon called Pyroar. He's a very, very hard Pokemon to deal with. If you use Hydragon's uh, Shred attack, it will completely bypass Pyroar's ability, and you could use that EX on Pyroar. And with Shred, does 80 damage, uh, plus like a muscle band, does 100 damage, but still won't knock out Pyroar, but you could at least still attack Pyroar. So that's the main part of my deck. And then, as you saw earlier, we have a 3-2-2 line of Dratini, Dragonair, and Dra Dragonite. I played two different Dragonites. You don't really see that that often. I play the usual Max Wind Dragonite, where if you evolve uh, your Dragonair in, with this Dragonite, uh, Max Wind, it'll take all the damage off of a Pokemon, and then Mock Press does 80 for one Grass, Electric, and Colorless. Flip two coins. If, he if both of them are heads, your opponent active Pokemon is now paralyzed. But that's not the best, so you pro or you probably won't get them paralyzed, but you at least do 80 damage. And then there's this uh, Ancient Trait Dragonite with two attacks. Wrapped in the wind for one electric, attach up to two basic energy cards from your hand to this Pokemon. So it's pretty much a free attachment, really. And then Heavy Metal Impact for a heavy energy cost. Three grass, one electric, and one colorless for a hundred and fifty damage, which is pretty good for a stage two. Plus, he has his uh, ability sort of thing, um, Delta Plus. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from this Pokemon, take one more prize card. So it's kind of like Lugia's Overflow, which is really good. But you don't really get out Dragonite that often to attack, so you probably won't really see him. But anyways, well, the main reason we have Dragonite is the powerful Mill Tank from Flashfire with its powerful friend's attack for one energy does 10 damage. Plus, if you have any stage 2 on your bench, 
this attack does 70 more damage. That's 80 damage for one energy, plus muscle band. So that's 100 damage. That can two-shot almost anything except for Megas. Which is really good. And then we just have our uh, drone again. He's pretty much there to revenge if uh, they knock out one of our Pokemon. Does 20 damage. And if they knock out a Pokemon uh, last turn, it does 70 more damage. So that's a whopping 90 damage. Which is pretty good. Plus Muscle Band. So that's 110. Not bad. And occasionally, maybe, you might Dragon Claw for 100 for 80 damage plus muscle band. But I don't know. So, uh, yeah, that's all my Pokemon. I know, that's not a lot of Pokemon to have. But we have a lot of trainers in here, and it's a lot of single ones. I know it's not consistent to have single ones, but... I don't know, you let me, uh... Let me know in the comments down below if I should get any, rid of any cards. Okay, so I have Via Seeker to get those supporters. Super Scoop Up to uh, just take it into my hand and then uh, I can play it back down when it has like a bunch of damage on it. Steven to get supporters and a basic energy card. Ultra Ball to get out all my Pokemon here. Trainers mail to get all these trainers. And then Tierno, draw. And then Shauna. Um, N and Chorus will be out of the format. So, I'd say Shauna is my best bet, really. And then we have Professor Sycamore. And you're wondering why would you play Professor Sycamore? Well, actually. Uh, Professor Juniper will be out of format, so really you can only play Professor Sycamore. But I think it's pretty much the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I only have one Professor Sycamore, so they're actually all the rest of the Junipers. So then we have a Professor's Letter to get out these energies right here, the electric and grass, for those, uh... For the things that we can't handle with our double dragon energies. Yeah, we got four of those. One, two, three, four. So we got the max double dragon energies. Because really you need the max double dragon energies. If you have one on uh, hydra both hydragons. And then if you really wanted to use that heavy metal in or heavy impact... You would have to have two of those double dragon energies and another energy. So, yeah, you kind of need those four double dragon energies. Anyways, we'll get back to the trainers. So we have AZ just in case. Then we have Wally for our evolutions. The one evolutions that we have. And then we have roller skates just to see if we can get cards. And then we have sparkling robe because... Um, uh, one reason, one reason only. Uh, there's a lot of cards that do, are starting to have special conditions. There's a lot of cards now that, uh, used to, um, not allow special conditions, but they're all being rotated out. So, like, Verizian's being rotated out, out, what really sucks for, uh, the Verizian Genesect people, but... Yeah, so I just played one sparkling robe. If you're just wondering, from a professor's letter on, it's just one. I play like two Super Scoop Up, two Steven, two Ultra Ball, three Trainers Mail, three Tierno, uh, three Shauna, four Sycamore, uh, and then the rest of them are just ones. So then after uh, sparkling robe, we have uh, Training Center. I don't know really why I put this in this deck. It's mostly because uh, I just needed a stadium. And plus I got like my Dragonite and stuff like that. So that's pretty much uh, why I put it in there. I know a lot of people will think, but a lot of people use evolution cards so that's going to benefit them. 
But it doesn't matter because I have the Dragon Road ability with this, so really doesn't matter. Uh, and now, uh, Level Ball. I know a lot of you will be saying, that's rotated out. But in the, uh, in the uh, new format that's coming out in September, Level Ball is coming back with uh, Ancient Origins. So, yay. Uh, pretty much Level Ball will just be to get my uh, evolutions ready. You know, get those Dratinis so that I can start my evolutions. Then I have the Max Revive just to be there. Just in case I need one of my cards back. Uh, Acro Bike just to get cards. Uh, Startling Megaphone just to discard those pesky muscle bands or whatever item cards they have on them. One Lysander. You cannot build a deck without a Lysander. It is l literally stupid of you to build a deck without a Lysander. You always need that Lysander just to be mean. But anyways. Next we have Pokemon Fan Club. Which is a different card that I put in this deck. I don't... Uh, bas basically, I put this into this deck because there's a lot of basics. Two, five, or two, and then there's three there, so that's five. And then there's two there, so that's seven. And there's eight basics. So if we really need all those eight basics, you might need this fan club. I know it's a supporter, it's a wasting a supporter slot, but still... And then we have this rare candy because, as you saw earlier for my Dragonite line, I have three Dratinis, two Dragonairs, and two Dragonites. I put this rare candy in because I noticed that when I played this deck before, I always, um, I always didn't have enough uh, resources to get out my Dragonite because it was like, Either my Dragonair, my Dragonair, and my Rare Candy was prized, or something like that. So I wanted to play three Dragonairs, pretty much, so that I could just get them out really fast. So that if I really needed to, I could powerful friends with uh, Mill Tank. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this is really bad, but sadly, I only have one muscle band, so uh, that's the only one I have. So I can only attach it to one Pokemon, which really sucks. So, yeah. If any of you guys have any muscle bands and you want them, send them to me. Let me know in the comments. Okay? Okay. And then, so... Our energies now. Now we have our, the energies. Sorry. Just got to set that down. We have one, two, three, four electric energies. These electric energies are pretty much just like extra energies for Dragonite. Or if I, uh, since I need to attach that extra energy onto Hydragon, it could be one of those. Or... The one energy on Mill Tank. So yeah, that's what that pretty much is. And then we have grass energies. One, two, three, four grass energies. And that's pretty much because Dragonite uh, requires grass and electric energy. So that's pretty much what I based it on. And then we have, like I said earlier, my four double dragon energies. Which is pretty awesome that I was lucky enough to get all four of those. I actually do have five, so that's pretty awesome. Well, that was my deck review. Uh, hope you like it, guys. Well, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Like, comment, and subscribe.